Welcome back. Well, we could be seeing some storms today, but we will be seeing them this week. So David's breaking down some science behind storms in this weekend's edition of David's Discovery. That's right. So I decided to go over how a cold front works. This is a very simple experiment. What I have here is that a little bit of some warmer water that I dyed with red food coloring. And then I also have a glass full of some blue ice cubes and added blue food coloring to represent colder air. So what I'm going to do is that in this tub of relatively lukewarm water, a little bit cooler now because I've had it out. We're going to dump these blue ice cubes and the blue food coloring into one side of this tin here and then we're going to dump the red in and add some food coloring in in a second. So what we should see here is a cold front forming with mm -hmm. colder dense air and warmer air in just a second. So let me try to pour this in. There's some blue ice cubes and food coloring and then if I dump in the red here we should start to see the warm air hopefully take over the cold air. Here. Oh yeah, look, I start to see so more you of see the, the red warm taking air over. Is rising up on the top. Added some more red food color in. To hopefully you can see that. So we're going to continue to see that warm air take over, or the cold air go underneath that warm air there. So it all deals with different densities. Right, and that's the that's more of the science behind these warm fronts and cold fronts yeah. and how we get get storms. Yes, yeah, so the, kind of the science behind that, Charles, mm -hmm. is that we have the colder, denser air in this here with the colder water. It's going to bring more of an abrupt change with that warmer air, and that warmer air in a cold front or a frontal system, that's going to move up over over the colder, denser air more abruptly, and that's what's gonna form more of an unstable atmosphere there. And once we get air parcels up there that are more moist and more light, mm -hmm. those are gonna condense or condensate into clouds. And as long as we have a warm, moist updraft in that bottom picture right there, that diagram, a warm moisture feeding into that cloud, it's gonna grow into a thunderstorm cloud and eventually it will reach a mature stage where they're gonna see a downdraft, and that's when there's colder, denser air in the cloud that shoots out all of that rain and deposits all that rain and hail during severe storms, okay. and sometimes that lightning too, and a few tornadoes in there before the downdraft takes over the whole entire time. Kind of the science behind what we were seeing out in Nebraska and Iowa this week. Right, so there was a big cold front that came through that generated all those storms.